These are my top five essentials for marathon training. First, we have a wide range of running shoes. First things first, having a wide range of running shoes actually allows us to have the right shoe for this specific style run for the training block. Having a rotation also saves the life of each shoe that you have, and it prevents any overuse injuries that we might get from using the same shoe over and over. Right now, we're using the Nike Invincible for short and moderate distance runs. The Saucony Endorphin Speed 2 is for anything that is up-tempo or requires just a little more effort. For the weekend long runs and any easy long distance, we have the New Balance Fresh Foam More V4. This thing is a beast of cushion. And for any long distances or race simulations, we have the New Balance Super Comp Trainer. Next is finding a watch that is perfect for you. I've tried a couple different ones, but the one that I stick with and I absolutely love is the Garmin 245 Music Edition. And here are just a couple key features that make this perfect for me. Coming from the Apple Watch, I'm somebody that sweats a ton and the touchscreen on it never worked during running for me. So I definitely needed buttons that start, stop, change, and lap. And of course, this is the 245 Music Edition, so it's able to store music. If I'm running by myself or doing a race, that's an essential feature for me. And lastly, just the simplicity of the style. I pretty much wear this thing 24 seven when I'm training and it goes with everything. And along with the music features here, the next must have, are the Powerbeats Pro. I've seriously tried every type of headphone out there for running, and these are the only ones that work for me. They either fall out or get destroyed from sweat, and these things have withheld everything. Plus the battery lasts a whole marathon for me. Outside of shoes, the next item that I'm most particular about and is a must have are the perfect pair of shorts. And just like shoes, I have a rotation. First, we have a good pair of five inch shorts, which I use for the daily run. Next, we have compression shorts, but more specifically, ones with pockets. These are the Wallco Northmore shorts. They have a pocket on the hip for a phone and then also a pocket on the left leg to hold anything like a card, keys, or your wallet. Essential if you carry things with you. And lastly, we have a pair of half tights. These are the Nike Aeroswift shorts and literally the most comfortable short to run in. So if I'm putting down long miles or racing, this is my go-to. And lastly, we have pre-workout. Now this isn't essential for a lot of people, but for me, I need my caffeine. This is the Rise Element pre-workout and it is perfect for running. We have a total of 200 milligrams of caffeine, 150 milligrams is caffeine and hydrous, which kicks in pretty quick, but 50 milligrams of that is actually slow release caffeine that kicks in a little bit later. On top of that, we also have nitrates, which are great for blood flow and endurance. And we also have the addition of sodium, which is a key electrolyte, betaine, and taurine for hydration. So these are my essentials. And if there's anything in here that you want a further breakdown on, just let me know down below. And remember, life is beautiful.